Hi everyone, I hope you are having great day today, and welcome back to my another video. On this tutorial I'm gonna show you, how to update old iPad unsupported to iOS 12 and later. If you have an old model iPad, productivity may be hampered, because many applications do not support. So you need to update your iPad to the latest iOS. But for old iPads, you won't get updates, like my iPad Mini 1. It's stuck only on iOS 9, and I can't update it in software update. But I have a tutorial how to get new update on old iPad. For this tutorial, you need a computer to update your iPad. First of all, you have to download IPSWIOS of your iPad. Go to IPWS website. Then select the Your Device model. Select your iPad models first. Then download the IPSW firmware of your iPad. I have iPad Mini 1, and so I have to download the IPSW firmware first. And the second one, Please select the model iPad IPSW that want you to update. For example, I want to update my iPad Mini 1 to iPad Mini 2, because iPad Mini 2 have update iOS 12. Select the model then download the IPSW. And here, I already download both IPSW. Open the file folder, and change the names of the two files so you don't get confused with the files. Open the file with WinRAR. Then extract the IPSW file to new folder. Extract both file on different folder. Please download Notepad++ on your computer. Then install. You can check the link download on description. Select the file with the name Build Manifest. Then open it with Notepad++. Do both on both Build Manifest. On this session, you need to change some value ID on the text. You need to copy and change some ID from iPad Mini 2 or iOS update, to iPad Mini 1. Maybe this is a little confusing. But the basic thing is that you will move the value ID on the build manifest on the latest iOS, to the old iOS build manifest. You can follow the instruction like this video. And I will insert the ID value on description. You can find it on the code by tapping Ctrl F, then search the ID. Change one by one the value, make sure you replace it correctly for this tutorial to work. You can follow the instruction like this video.
open both IPSW folders. Then write the name of DMG files on Notepad. Please write all file names in Notepad. Usually there are three DMG files in IPSW files. Make sure the numbers are in order. And also write down the old number with the new number. Then search the number on Notepad. And change number from new iOS to old iOS build manifest. Change it one by one. and change number from new iOS to old iOS build manifest. After everything is changed, please save build manifest for old iOS. and save the new build manifest to new folder. Then open old IPSW folder again. Then copy restore file and firmware to new folder. Open new iOS IPSW, then copy the DMG files to new folder. Make sure you copy the iOS updated. If everything has been copied, please select all the files. And add to zip with WinRAR. It takes some time to make zip. Please wait. If the file has been successfully converted into a zip, please rename it and change the file extension to IPSW. The way is, please select the view menu above, then check the file name extension. Then rename the zip name and change it to IPSW files. And yeah, the IPSW file is ready to use to update your old iPad. Then plug your iPad to computer. Then open 3U Tools software. If you don't have 3U Tools software, check the link download on description. Make sure the iPad detected on 3U Tools. Then select Smart Flash menu on the top. Select Firmware and find the IPSW firmware that you created. And click Flash.
Before flashing, make sure you have turned off Find My iPhone first to completely the flash, and please wait until flashing complete. Yeah, your iPad has been successfully updated to the latest iOS. Previously this iPad was on iOS 9 and updated to iOS 12. Maybe this trick is a little difficult for you, but it will work completely. Please follow step by step. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe this channel for more update. See you on the next tutorial.